This is Linton Guthrie Jackson, coming to you from on board the MHS Hysteria. <clears throat> what? Augustus? When did you get here? Just now. But... Could you go? The captain gave me full access to the library. But I have a log to shoot. Pretend I'm not here. You know what? Fine. Anyway, today I thought I would talk to you about trolls. When I was just a youngin', my grandmama used to tell me stories of these brutish creatures. She was terrified of them. And when I joined the Hysteria, we traveled back in time, and I met my ancestor, Anders Mackinnon, who was an actual troll hunter. He taught me everything he knew about trolls. More than just the stuff of fairy tales, these thick-skinned behemoths were once the terrors of Scandinavia. Und Iceland. What? I, I, I know that. You didn't say it. Fine. Scandinavia and Iceland. Trolls, also known as Jotuns in Old Norse, came in all manners of sizes and shapes. But all of them have skin as thick as a rhinoceros, four fingers on each hand, and massive noses. Subspecies of troll include the Ringelfinch, the Tusalad, the Jotna, the Harling. What the Dovergoben? What? You forgot to mention the Dovergoben. I did not forget the Dovergoben. You just didn't let me finish. I'm just trying to help. Okay. Well, I have a master's degree in xenolinguistics and occult studies. Okay? I think I know what I'm talking about. All right, then. The different subspecies of troll are remarkably diverse. Some trolls, like the Jotna, are solitary creatures. While the Dovergoben, for example, tend to live in packs. Trolls like the Tusalad have three heads for aid in mating rituals. Someone should have told them that a nice cravat works just as well. So that's not funny. Trolls are creatures of the earth that dwell in shadow. They've been known to live underground, in caves, beneath mountains, even under bridges. Some species live in the ocean. Some species live in the ocean! That's right, Augustus! <laughs> they live in dark places because they can't bear the sunlight. Sunlight turns them to stone. Calcium carbonate. What? Trolls do not produce calcium naturally, so when they are exposed to the sun's ultraviolet rays, the vitamin D calcifies the bodies. And how do you know that? It's all right, yeah. You're reading my notebook? It's very fascinating. Well, fine. Just don't read it out loud. Anyway. Trolls also have an aversion to iron, Hematite. because their blood is so heavily iron-based <laughs> that the imbalance causes hemochromatosis. Living in complete darkness, trolls have evolved with an advanced sense of smell. It was even rumored in the late 9th century that trolls could smell someone's religious faith. Actually. What? It was the scent of the vegetable oil in the diet of the missionaries that came to Scandinavia in the 9th century. It doesn't say that in my notes. Your notes are incomplete. I'm sorry, but do you have a degree in xenolinguistics or occult studies? No, but it does not take a genius to notice that belief in God does not have a scent. Well, fine. You know what? If you know so much about trolls, why don't you do the log? Why don't you teach the people? Because guess what? I'm out. God damn it! And the comfy chair is mine. Auf Wiedersehen!